Hello guys, I'm Madan Prashant from Tech Tinkerers. Uh, uh, today I'm going to show you all how to create your portfolio page. This is my portfolio page. Uh, I've divided this page into several sections. This is the first section of our page. Uh, which has my name and my titles. The topmost section, the header has uh, all the uh, all the navbar elements. Uh, the next section of a page, it's it's about me and uh, more information about me, my skills, uh, mm, the technologies I'm proficient in, and uh, my projects. Uh, so I've used hovering effect here. Clicking on any of uh, the images uh, would take. To that respective project uh, so I've used carousel effect here which uh, using JavaScript uh, the last section of the page it's uh, about contacting me uh, having uh, information uh, having all my personal information In the last section of the page is the footer section so let's uh, let's start so we have we are using three technologies here HTML CSS and JavaScript uh, so let's start with the HTML. For the navbar section of the page, uh, we have uh, uh, we have uh, given uh, five menus in the navbar. So that is home, about, skills, projects, and contact. Uh, uh, each of this is a separate link which we have created using anchor tags. Uh, so the next section of the page, it's the home section part, uh, which has my name and uh, uh, even a link to my resume. Um, then, then a section called about me, which has uh, uh, which has my skills and all. Uh, I've uh, I've just used divisions and uh, the next and the most important part of the page. It's uh, it's about uh, the projects which I do. It's very important to. Um, have this section in your portfolio page uh, so uh, I've given uh, links to all of my projects uh, clicking on any of these would uh, any of the images of these uh, projects would take the user uh, to the respective projects uh, and I have also given uh, um, a bit of information about each of this project and the last section it's the contact me section uh, giving information about me and uh, let's go to CSS uh, here we give all the uh, styling for the web page uh, I've, uh, I've first uh, modified the scroll bar I've, I've, uh, I've, I've made the scroll bar thin I've given a color these are all uh, done using CSS let's get back to CSS so we use web grid scroll bar for that and the next, uh, next it's the navbar section. And later, uh, yeah, we have uh, given navbar section. We have given it a sticky. Uh, it'll it'll always uh, stay uh, even when you scroll down. So I've used sticky here. Next section is the home section. Uh, that. Uh, this section of the page is the home section where we have uh, given a background image. Uh, mm. After that, it's the about section uh, uh, where uh, I've given another. Im uh, I've given an image of myself uh, and much more information about me. I've uh, changed the font size using. Uh, font size, font weight, I've modified all my fonts so. and then it's the skill section uh, I've, uh, I've used uh, various uh, bars to indicate my proficiency in various skills uh, all of this was uh, done using CSS uh. so we have done that using width calculation 50% minus 30 pixel it's the it's the percentage of of this uh, in the in the overall uh, uh, horizontal row then it's the project section and uh, i've uh, used the carousel uh, effect and a uh, hovering effect too 
uh, where uh, whenever the pointer goes on any of this its color changes the heading color changes and the uh, color of the uh, image border also changes so uh, all of this was done using uh, properties of css so uh, and this is my uh, contact section uh, i have mm, i have um, given uh, a few boxes uh, to give your information it's nothing but a form and uh, the last section is the footer section uh, now let's get to javascript uh, where uh, i have uh, mm, i've used javascript to i've used javascript for my uh, carousel effect and my scroll bar also so the code for uh, the carousel is uh, this um, using which i have uh, uh, got my carousel effect so thank you